The iOS 11 is also supported on the iPad mini 4 and pretty much every other iPad. So let's make a review about it right now. What's going on guys? This is Apple Fox channel here and as you can see I'm holding an iPad in my hand and that means that this is the review of the latest version on this compatible iPad device. So as you can see I have just clicked on the install now button and I have to wait a couple of seconds until the download will be finished on this iPad. I know that I already made a video about it, I also made a review about it on the iPhone 6, about the iOS 11.2.6, but you know, the iPad isn't that in the year of 2018 and that's why I don't want to forget about those people. I don't want to leave those people out and I simply want to make a review about it. There won't be many differences between the iPad and the iPhone running the iOS 11.2.6, but people want to have it specified. They want to see the storage before and after updating specified on the iPad. They want to see how it performs. They want to know what it means to go ahead and download and update their iPad to the iOS 11.2.6. And that is the whole point of making this video. So I will come back when the installation process will be finished. Now finally, as you can see, it has been updated to the iOS 11.2.6, so let's open it up. But I have to type in the passcode just like every time I update to a new version. And now let's finally or let's take a look at the software description before the update was actually installed. So let's open up photos. So here it is. So as you can see, the update was 29.6 megabytes on my iPad. By the way, just for your information and for your reference, this is the iPad mini 4. Just in case you were wondering like which iPad is this guy holding in his hand. So this update is really small as you can notice. I mean, this is a screen that you can of course see on your iPad as well, but the size may be different. But basically in the description of this update, we can see that there are two major fixes. By the way, this is exactly what it is on the iPhone as well. So in case you have an iPhone and your iPad, this is going to be very similar. But anyways, the first fix is where it fixes an issue where causing or using certain character sequences could cause apps to crash. And this is nothing else but the Indian character that's causing so much mess with iOS devices. And it basically can make your iPad restored and basically not functional as well. So it doesn't only apply to the iPhone, it applies to the iPad as well, but also for the MacBook. So it's kind of weird what can one character that the iPhone or the device cannot read it is kind of weird what this character can do to the device. But anyways, if you want to fix it, you have to update to the iOS 11.2.6. The second fix, as you can see, it is where it fixes an issue where some third-party apps could fail to connect to an external accessory. For the people that use iPads as their main device and they have some old phone or whatever, it may be their case because uh, the iPad is a device they use in order to connect to this kind of accessory, but I don't really use it that much. It has never happened to me, so I cannot tell you my personal experience with this, but hopefully it will be okay with the iOS 11.2.6, just like Apple says. So these are all the things you need to know in terms of the fixes for the iOS 11.2.6. But also in the description of this update, we have a link to Apple's website where you can read some technical or some security content that has been improved in this version. So let's open up that website. All of the fixes are listed down on this page, but as you can see, it is just only this one. So available for the iPhone 5S and later iPad Air and later, which includes this iPad mini 4 and pretty much every single iPad that supports iOS 11.2.6. And the impact is that processing a maliciously crafted string may lead to heap corruption. And memory corruption issue was addressed through improved input validation. Many people, as I already stated in the video where I was talking about this version on the iPhone, many people probably have no idea about it and it is okay. All you have to know is that it has been fixed and your device is now safe from this. And the more fixes there are, the better it is for you and your device. And now let's take a look at the storage before and after updating because that is probably the most important part for all of the people watching this. So here we have the iOS 11.2.5 with the capacity of 16GB just like all the time because this is the iPad which is 16GB obviously but uh, of course the available is 1.75GB. So let's write right here and let's take a look at the iOS 11.2.6 and as you can see, the available has actually jumped up to 2.52 gigabytes. So we have gained about 800 megabytes just by updating to a new version. And the update was like 20 megabytes when I was updating and now we gained about 800. So it's absolutely great and I just really like it. 
and this has to be the reason why you are updating in the first place. And keep in mind that this didn't happen on the iPhone. When I was updating to the iOS 11.2.6 on the iPhone, this didn't happen. But on the iPad, however, it did happen and we gained 800 megabytes. Keep in mind that the amount of applications and the amount of photos is pretty much the same. So I didn't download anything, I didn't delete anything. As you can see, it's all the same. 162 photos and 164 but those two photos are just the screenshots but two photos will never take up 800 megabytes so this is everything what you need to know about this version on the ipad if there is one thing that should hold you back from updating to that version is the ability to jailbreak your ipad in case your ipad is running ios 11.1.2 or below you are able to get a jailbreak for this device but in case you are already running the ios 11.2.5 you're not able to come back to that version so i would recommend you to go ahead and update to the 11.2.6 so that would be the end of today's video guys i want to say thank you very much for watching until the end i just really hope you enjoyed this video and i also hope that you found it informative in case you have an ipad please leave a thumbs up to let me know and also subscribe for more content like this for more ios updates apple watch coverage and all of that kind of stuff and never miss anything important in the future so have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video peace out